Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? Me, oh, whoa. My phone just fell. Uh, may have it upside down. Let me move it back a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, well, hello. That was opening with a bang. So, uh, how are you doing today? and I uh, hope you had an awesome day. It's already seven o'clock. I already have my music going. I have everything I need at my fingertips. Um, I feel like I've forgotten something, but I probably haven't. So tonight I want to read Psalm 119 because it's so ministered to me yesterday about God's Word and God is still speaking to me about His Word um, in different uh, scriptures so and I want to talk to you about um, a fundraiser that I'm doing on Facebook for Operation Underground Railroad I just keep getting led back to that um, organization and um, that organization is where I have learned the very most about this human trafficking thing that like two million Two million children are missing right now and like six million people so um, I've gotten a lot of my statistics from them and I know that last year because of the lockdowns and everything everything went up like the demand went up because people were at home but anyway, I don't want to talk about that tonight. I want to talk about Psalm 119, but I wanted to make you aware that you can go on there and you can sign up to um, donate every month, either $5 or $10. $5 actually covers one kid's rescue plus their rehab. And... Uh, Uh, ten dollars covers too so anyway it's a good thing to give money to I mean I, I can't go out there and hunt people down although I'd really like to I don't have the skill set for that but I can I can make people aware I can remind people that it is going on I can um, do that Okay, so today I have hearts going across my YouTube video with two little kids, two little, I don't remember what those are called. There's a word for those, a little, the little kid couple, I don't know, I can't think of what they're called, maybe I will remember later. Oh, Precious Moments, Precious Moments kids on my and hearts going across okay well let's jump into prayer and um yeah let's do that now i'm gonna do that on my knees i've been thinking about that i really i feel better i feel more reverent when i'm on my knees God, we just come before you and we just praise you and thank you. We thank you for our word. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for all that you give us, God. You are on your throne and in control. And we don't even have to doubt what is going on because we know that you have it all in your, in your care. And uh, that you are going to take care of us. You're going to protect us. You're going to provide for us. You're going to bless us. You're going to draw us closer to you, God, during this time. Also pray for people that are sick, God. I just lift them up to you and I just pray that you would heal their bodies. I pray also, God, for the lost. I just pray that you would open um, their eyes and their ears to the truth and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray for them to remember the relationship that they once had with you and 
to repent and to return to you. God, we just pray for all the disasters that are going on. Just so many disasters. So many disasters. I was hearing a while ago that there's a hurricane in space. You know, it's just bizarre things that are happening. But God, again, we know that you are in control. And we just pray that you would be with these people that are going through disasters, that you would meet their needs, God. We also pray for... Um, Faith Finley's family, God. And uh, Faye is with you today, God. Just remember Faye and Jean and all those sweet ladies that are with you now, God, and with Margie too now. Just pray, God, that uh, you would comfort their families and give them peace and uh, strength, God. That they would feel your presence and that they would know that their loved one is not in pain anymore, is not sick. God, we just pray for, um, I just pray, there's so many people that have uh, passed away, God. But we know where most of them are, and we just can't help but be joyful for them. That their journey has ended, and their race has been won. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, so I found out a lady that I used to go to church with. She passed this morning. And I'm uh, really going to miss her. She's a sweet lady. We have so many sweet ladies. Our ladies used to quilt, and it was so special. And um, when I went to college, and I worked part-time at the church as a secretary for a little while and I just loved Tuesdays because they would come and they would quilt and they would visit and they would um just some very sweet ladies very sweet I do miss them but we'll see them someday we will maybe soon maybe that space hurricane will get us on out of here Maybe Jesus will come get us before that hits. Okay. Well, let's get into this scripture. Which I need some water because it's long. So. Psalm 119. <clears throat> One thing I like about this is it is split up in like little sections. So it's not like um, you're reading the whole thing. It's like little sections of its own. I said 90. I think I'm going to go to 88 and start with 89 tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to start right there and go through 176 tomorrow. Okay. It's kind of about the same. Okay. So it ends on 88 instead of 90. I just was trying to get close. Okay, so the, the heading for this is a left, and I don't know whether I'm saying that right or not, but blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. So that is like a 1 through 8. And then the next part is called Beth. 
Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, and that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes and I will not forget thy word. Again, this is about this is about seeking God's word and learning it and walking in God's ways. This is so good. This blessed me so much from reading it yesterday. So I really hope that it blesses you too. Okay, this part is called Gimel. Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth, hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept to thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me. But thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. And so the next part is Daleth. My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Uh, remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Next part is called He, H-E. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devo devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me with thy righteousness. And this part is called va, va, v a u. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation, according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies before kings and will not be ashamed. I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. So the next part is called Zain, Z-A-I-N. Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet I have not declined from thy law. 
I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts. And so this next part is called Cheth, C-H-E-T-H. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will trust to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and all them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. So the next part is Teth, T-E-T-H. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgments and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I have afflicted, I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Thou art good, and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. So the next part is Jod. <clears throat> thy hands have made me and fashioned me, giving me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hath afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live for the law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes that I will not, that I be not ashamed. And so the last one we're going to read tonight is Calf. C-A-P-H. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fall for fail for thy word saying, when wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke. Yet I do not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. So again, God's word. It's about God's word all through there. About God's word, keeping his statutes, walking in his way. And this is what he wants for us. He wants us to learn his word. He wants us to take his word and hide it in our hearts because things are getting pretty weird right now. And there could come a day where we are not allowed to have Bibles. So what do we do then? What do we do then? We need to have some here. We need to have some scripture here and here. 
so that we can remember and so that we can rely on that. Um, is that still on? Okay, I'm still recording. Sometimes my recorder on my other camera turns off. So, that's what we need to do. We need to hide God's word in our heart. We need to walk after it. We need to learn it. We need to share it with others. That's what his word is for. Where's our list that we had from yesterday and the day before? Okay, so this is our list. Um, we're not going to read the scriptures again, but to be rid of anxiety and have pace, peace, <laughs> to have peace, not pace, to have peace, to set things right when life is out of control, to have direction and know God's will, to experience healing and deliverance, to grow in the Lord, to have strength, comfort, and hope, to shape yourself and your life correctly, to be able to see clearly, to know what's really in your heart, to build faith, to have joy, to understand God's power, to have more life in this life, to distinguish good from evil, to understand God's love for you. So <clears throat> that's all, I mean, there are more things that God's word is good for, but, and reasons why we want to read his word every day. But tomorrow night, I want to start with um, 89 and read through 176. And then I don't know what we're going to do on Saturday. I haven't decided yet. Might depend on my experience when I go somewhere. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Alright, so this is... No, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. I gotta find where I wrote my notes. <clears throat> so today is the night. Today is my granddaughter's 10th birthday. I cannot believe that it's been 10 years. And I can't believe that my mother's been in heaven 10 years. And I can't believe that my sister-in-law has been in heaven for 10 years. We had all that hit us at one time. And, uh, but Kylie's birthday is today. And she's 10. And I'm going to get to see her this weekend. And I'm excited about that. Uh, I miss the little thing. Okay. I miss my other two also. I don't get to see them very often either. COVID kind of, I don't know, for a while I was trying to protect Seth from COVID and then we all three ended up getting it and so that was like quarantine. Um, 14 days for Ricky, 14 days for me, 14 days for Seth. That's, you know, quite a bit of time. Some of it was overlapping, too. Okay. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day, child, to organize for your son going forward also. Well, I didn't get that done today, but I did something else. And thank you, God, for another new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a day of organization also. He said, Child, focus on your tasks, but listen to my messengers while you work too. Many things are taking place all over your country and all over the world. Many are being freed and arrested in the dark of night. So what he's talking about many are being freed is many children are being rescued right now. I don't know how many. There are um, many states that are arresting people right now and rescuing children. But this is happening all over the world and it happens at night. 
you know, that doesn't happen in the day. Um, in secret, like this, like the their atrocities are done against my innocence. Be aware, but focus on your tasks today. And I said, I hear a lot that is going on, God, praying that it is true. I so want to see the corruption and law breaking end. No one is above the law. I am thankful that our state is standing up for their residents. I pray the other states make a stand against the lawlessness that is going on. Their laws being put in place are against our Constitution. And I said, thank you for meeting me today, God. And thank you for a word that became clear. Thank you for all the blessings in my life. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask. The reunion is soon, child. All are eager to see all of you again. It will be so beautiful to see all of you here again and safe from the world. And I said, you're an awful God, because I'm ready. I'm so ready, so, so ready. Okay, so how do we want to do the deal tonight? How about the E band? The E three E three band. So the scripture that this begins with is that um for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. So this gold part, the gold, all right, I got to read what I don't know. The gold color represents God, the creator of all who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light, and in Him there is no darkness. God is perfect. God loves you, and He wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's Son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. So then we have the black question mark. The color, the dark color represents sin which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever. So the first question mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? Well, there's an answer for that. So we got the red color. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. So then we move to the white with the red question mark. The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. So the question Mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus? Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in Him. And so, um, 
Now if you have not, then let's pray and I will leave a space for you to pray. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so now we are on the green color. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the area of growth. So now we have some symbols. We have a heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that we love our neighbors as ourselves. Love God. Love people. So the next one is the Bible. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and His love. Okay, that's what we've been talking about for three days is God's Word and why we need to read it every day. And so this little praying guy, pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him. So then you have a drop of water. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person, like being born all over again. And then you have the fellowship. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. And then you have the world with the cross. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in Him. Tell as many people as you can. So, if you said that prayer and you accepted Jesus into your heart as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified through God, uh, by God through Jesus His Son. And the angels in heaven are rejoicing. And your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's an exciting thing. It's nearly been 30 years since I did that. I know a lot of people have been Christians a lot longer than me. But I didn't quite get it until I was 31. But that's okay. So it's never too late. If you're 79, 80, 90, it doesn't matter. God has, when you are God's child, and He knows you're God's child, there is a specific day that He knows you're going to accept Jesus as your son. And that's kind of like your salvation birthday. Alright, well I think that I did everything uh, that I came to do tonight. So tomorrow I will start with um, 88 through 176. So we'll do, or maybe it's 89. It's 89. Kind of a strange place to start, but that's where it starts. Okay. Well, I can't believe that it hasn't been an hour. I don't know how I got done so quickly. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I have. Done the salvation, done the quiet time, did the scripture, did a prayer. Okay. 
Well, it's time to give you God's blessing and to send you on your way. Okay, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And that is Numbers 6, 24 through 26. So if you can think of any scriptures that you think go with um, why we should read our Bibles daily, then please put them in the comments if you have any other comments. Tonight I have my finally free t-shirt on from Women of Faith. This was the first Women of Faith that I went to and uh, I felt like it kind of went with what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to make freedom bracelets. Finally got a word. I'm going to do freedom. This says I am saved, but I'm going to do freedom in this fashion. Probably going to put more beads on it. I don't know. I may just do it like that. It's really simple. I kind of like simple. They're faster to make too. I don't know. I might make some of them with more. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, I was kind of excited to get that word from God this morning, that freedom word, because I really didn't know what, how to make the bracelet, but I'm going to make it very simple and the bracelets are going to come with a commitment to pray to pray for the freedom of all those that are in bondage right now maybe even all those that are spiritually in bondage i mean we have physical bondage where people don't have the freedom to make choices and to do the things that um, they want to do because they've been trafficked and then you've got uh, spiritual bondage where you are in bondage to sin and um, so really you've got both so you want freedom from both and you need freedom from both so anyway it's kind of a partnership a prayer since y'all are my pray and share warriors Maybe y'all will pray about it, and maybe you will share it and make people more aware of the problem of human trafficking that is happening in our country, in our state, all over the world. I want to get some Texas statistics um, together, but I didn't have time to do it today. I may do it when I get through with this. All right, well, let's go ahead and pray. Let's just pray that we are thankful to have God's Word. Uh-oh. Something fell back here. Oh. Well, that's weird. Hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. My surge protector just jumped off the little thing that it was on. I don't think I pulled anything. I might have. I've been pulling on this wire. I might have made it. Anyway, let's pray. God, we just come to you, and we are just so thankful, God. We're so thankful for your word and all the things that it does for us. God, help us to read it, to learn it, to hide it in our heart, God. If we ever have to give up our Bibles, God, that we have something hidden in our heart that we can lean on. God, we just pray for all the many people that are lost. God, we just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they could be saved. God, we pray for the prodigals to come home. God, we pray for peace, love, and unity and all the things that come from Jesus. God, we pray for in our country and all over the world. God, we pray to be that one nation under God once again. God, for simplicity to reign and not confusion and... Um, not deception, God, not corruption, just um, to be that shining beacon on the hill again like we once were, or maybe we haven't ever been. I don't know. I know that the corruption didn't start yesterday. I know that it has been around for a long time. So, God, we just pray for all truth, all truth to rise above the lies. 
and for people that are breaking the law of God in our government and outside of our government for them to go to jail God for them to have to pay a penalty for breaking the law God we just pray that you would help us to be more in your presence that you would help us to testify to your goodness and that you would help us to encourage others God just help us to make people aware of human trafficking and how dangerous it is and how horrific how horrific it is for these kids for these teens for these young adults and even older people too God um, we just thank you we know that you are on your throne we know that we can lay these things at your feet according to your will and your way and in Jesus name we pray amen well, I'm listening to Father's House right now. I love that song. My music has been playing really good. All right. Well, God bless you all and your families. Have an awesome rest of your evening. An awesome tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And uh, much love and cyber hugs. And good night.